talk a little about uh, digital technology, social media. How has social media changed your life or changed the way you do business? How that's changed is, is it's given me the best unfiltered feedback, almost like a focus group of people who are interested in what I'm doing, you know, and, and I can I can ask questions and get immediate replies. So it's also, really you. Yeah, it's me, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have nearly 3 million followers on Twitter, I think, last I oh. checked. It's you. It's, it's you. me, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really, do, I mean, it's, I want this to be my voice. I want people to know that they are connecting with me and, and I don't trust someone else to put it out there. Yeah, some, some athletes, some celebrities have, you know, assistants doing their yeah, thing. And, and that's fine, you know, if that's what they want to do. But you just know you're getting the sanitized version of who they are. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm, you know, I'm the real deal. Like, this is me. I'm, you know, scarred up and still skating and probably older than, than most people who are doing this for profession. But, um, but this is who I am. And, and I, you know, I, I want to I represent myself well. And I want to project what is true and what is happening. And so... Um, but also it's just, it's such a good way to, to spread information, you know, beyond getting, beyond being interactive with people. It's, it's just like, look, this is out today. You know what I mean? Or, or, you know, the, like right now I'm releasing a, a best of game of our first, uh, I'm releasing a best of our first two games for the newer systems for Xbox 360 and PS3. And people can see how I'm ramping up for that. And, and I, and I can show them the the development of it you know in in my own way and and like like with me playing it or screen grabs or or when we're getting scanned or the the skaters who are getting included in it and whenever bands get confirmed for it i can put that information out there without having to worry about oh here's your talking points and here's the press release on that i think you've been pretty innovative too with the way you've used it, especially twitter I've, and i watched some of the scavenger hunt style stuff oh, that you've yeah. done talk to how'd you come up with that I was literally driving here one day and I thought, I wonder what happens if I just like threw a skateboard off on the side of the road. So I pulled, I didn't do it on the side of the road, but I pulled off on this cul-de-sac and sort of hid it behind this bush and just said, hey, I just dropped a skateboard at this cul-de-sac, go find it. And by the time I got here, which was 10 minutes later, um, there was just this flurry of activity on, on Twitter, you know, in terms of, of my, my message and retweeting it and replies and things like that. And, and, uh, and by the time I got here, there was a girl with a picture holding it in that spot. Like, I found it. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later, and, and, um, and she said, like, four other cars were pulling up as she left. And so I thought, oh, that would be such, such a fun thing to do on a bigger scale. Yeah. And so since then, we've done a few, but we get, like, a bunch of people all around the world to hide stuff, usually signed skateboards. But now I've actually gone out to, to companies and said, hey, if you want to get involved with this, Give us product and we'll hide it and we'll give you credit. Yeah. So now we're getting like Fender guitars and we're getting video games. And I mean, we've gotten like years supply of cornflakes. You know, it's just like all over the map. It's fun though. It's super fun. And, and you know, they don't expect that much in return except that they're included in this really cool activity.